Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise and welcome to another question of the day. These are the videos where I answer your questions that you leave me in the Geek and Noids forums. There's a link to the Geek and Noids forums if you want to leave me another question in the video description. So on with today's question which comes from Jacko518 and it's a really good question, lengthy question, but here we go. What's the right computer for me? Hello everyone, I'm attending college shortly and in need of a Macintosh laptop. So you definitely want a Mac, that's good news. I have been poking around here and there for one, I've found some refurbished Macs. I'm a student for criminal justice. I'm also a filmmaker, so video editing is important, and will be taking courses in graphic design as well as web design. So my question is, what's the right computer for me? It needs to deliver power for editing. I would like to upgrade it down the road. Thank you, Geekanoids. Well, that's a really good question, Jacko. And the answer is very straightforward. You said you need a Mac laptop, so it's got to be portable. So you're looking at either a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro. And then you mentioned that it needs to really deliver power for video editing. No choice, really. You're going to have to go for a MacBook Pro. And it seems like Apple aren't really developing or further developing the regular MacBook Pro lineup. So you're going to have to go for a Retina MacBook Pro. So the two choices you've got are either a 13 inch or a 15 inch. And I would base my decision on how much power you need and also whether you're intending to possibly connect it to an external display. Now, if you're only gonna be doing video editing on occasion and you've also got the option of connecting to an external display, maybe when you're back at home or when you're at work, then I would go for the 13 inch because then you've got something that's ultra portable and something that you can use a larger display on when you're back at base. If you need that extra power and something with really good screen real estate, then go for the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Now, always buy the best processor and the best internal upgrades at the time of purchase, because nowadays Apple laptops aren't very easy to upgrade. So do bear that in mind. Go for a minimum, a bare minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM, but 16 gigabytes would be ideal. And go for the storage, needs that suit you really. If you're doing video editing, 512 gigabytes of flash storage is a really good way to go. For me, I always settle for either 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes of internal storage because when I'm doing video editing, I connect a Thunderbolt hard drive and I put all of my video footage on an external drive. So consider that when you're making your decision as well. So I hope that's helped you. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all again next time.